Yes, welcome again. It's Tuesday. It means only one thing. It's the quiz show. Football mastermind on the spot. And on the spot today is a special guest of mine, Simon McDonald, all the way from Bristol. And he's a Liverpool fan. Big up to Simon. How you doing, bro? Thank you, sir. How you doing? You all right? Yeah, really I'm good. good, man. Really good. I mean, we've been talking about this for a long time now because when we... I want to big up the Facebook group, Premier League Football Banter run by Nicky Reed. big up to Tony, big up to Lewis White, big up to everyone watching, Randall, PJ, all you guys out there. I hope you're tuning in and supporting Simon today. But that's how we know each other. Isn't that right, Simon, from the, the football banter uh, group on Facebook? Yeah, from way back. Yeah. We, and <laughs> it's not been nice at times. We do bump heads <laughs> from time to time. Yeah, yeah. There, there's yeah, a couple of times we've cussed. <laughs> but it's been fun. It's been fun. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. But considering, I mean, it's only natural because there's a rivalry. Isn't it? I'm a Man United fan. You're on the Man United agenda. Mm -hmm. And you're a Liverpool fan um, coming yep. on to represent for your club and try to get up in the leaderboard. Now, we'll show the leaderboard later on. As you know, with um, the quiz, there's 18 questions. I'll be asking you four, six questions on football general knowledge, six on the picture round, photo round, and six of your chosen subject, which naturally is... Liverpool. Liverpool, football. that's your first question you got right tonight. <laughs> a big up. So uh, let's go to the comments quickly, see who's in the house. we got Solo, big up Errol. How you doing, Errol? Hope you're doing well. I'll call you back later. I've got your call. Uh, big up to Stuart Marshall at the game the other day. Yeah, special game for us. Not so much for Simon, but um, yeah, it was a great, epic game. And uh, Vincent was at the game as well. How you doing, Vincent? 4-3, we saw you. We saw the footage of you, Vincent. How you doing? We deserve better. How are you doing? He's saying hello to Amondi and Simon. Big up to you. We deserve better. Everyone, welcome Simon to the group. He's a brave man coming on. So, Simon, uh, why are you a Liverpool fan? Tell us all about it. What, what's what's the connection? Well, um, a few reasons. Um, one of them's John Barnes, obviously. <laughs> the Wing Wizard. Yeah. Um, my favourite player of all time. Um, also, Kenny Dalglish. So here's a funny thing. Um, I'm born sort of 78. So around the 82 World Cup, the only two players that I remember as, as a child back then, Kenny Dalglish yep. and Kenny Sampson. Oh, well, Kenny Sampson, but he's, he was Arsenal. Yeah, yeah Arsenal left back or right yeah. back. Oh, wow. So That's a good memory for a four-year-old. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I don't know why, but yeah, that World Cup um, is when I started getting into football. So I was around four, five, yeah. and um, yeah, I followed Liverpool wow. since then. So tell, us, tell us about, because a lot of um, brothers, they love John Barnes, me and myself. I mean, just, yeah. for those who don't know, just tell people, because sometimes it's forgotten about just what a great player he was. Yeah, well, he's, he was already a brilliant player before he, he joined the club. Yeah. You know, he was an amazing player at Watford. Um He's, you know, obviously Jamaican-born, so, you know, there's that sort of connection from, you know, my family and stuff. Um, and, yeah, he's, he's just, he was an amazing player, you know. He's definitely PFA, one of the, PFA player of the year, wasn't he, a couple of times? Yeah, de and definitely one of the best players I've ever seen, ever, like, easily. He, he was amazing. I always ask this question, Simon. Yeah. I, I, it's kind of disappointing. Yeah. After the high school stadium disaster, there was a ban for English clubs in Europe. And we saw clubs yeah. like um, Stara Bucharest, Porto, uh, PSV yeah. in the, the Champions League. And then there was a great Milan side as well. But yeah. in, in the domestic game, with Beardsley, Houghton, Barnes, Steve McMahon, mm -hmm. Liverpool were outstanding. How do you Amazing. think they would have fared against the greats of Europe during uh, that time? They would have got to the semi-finals, I reckon, easily. Okay, so... That, that's minimum. The, the, yeah, I reckon they were the, they're within the the what the best four clubs. Yeah. I would say even probably in the eighty seven season. Yeah. Still in Europe, so you're looking at probably CSK Sofia around those times. Um, like you said, Stade Bucharest, the Eastern Bloc teams. AC Milan was an up and coming team at that time. That's right. Um, so yeah, there was a, a lot, and obviously the Spanish teams. You had Barcelona, it was bubbling. Real Madrid had tailed off. At that point, so yeah, I just think if we were in Europe at that point, we would have easily got to yeah. the Senate and, more, and more European Champions Leagues. You've got enough already, Absolutely. I'd say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's 
few comments before we get in on with the show. Uh, United okay. Club, uh, sister clubs, Man City and Liverpool for keeping the for Champions League qualification alive. That's Bart, serious fan. He's a Liverpool fan, by the way. Uh, Stuart Marshall mm-hmm. saying, must admit, John Barnes staff. Goal he scored at the Macarana uh, in Brazil was special. That was a friendly. Yep. Wow. Wow. If you haven't seen that goal, go and check that out, man. Outstanding. Uh, John Barnes, 83 to 99. Absolutely outstanding. That's from Andrew Williams. Uh, Andrew knows his stuff for sure. He Agreed. Was, um, he got an injury, didn't he? That sort of slowed him up. Uh, he got a, a, the a, Achilles. Yeah. After that, he wasn't quite the same. Uh, John Barnes made everything look simple. No doubt about it. That's from We Deserve Better. Um, Bart saying here, great to see another Liverpool fan on the show. Representation of the greatest club on May United's channel is cool, very funny. But uh, we are, we are rivals, I mean, we're up there, it's, it's one or the other, isn't it? Uh, Barnes and Doug Leach and Rush absolutely used to own us as Andrew Williams. Uh, Barnes is better than any May United winner, winger, barring uh, CR7, says Bar- but- Barnes. Uh, Barnes was not better than Giggs, says Stuart Marshall. See the debate yes. starts already. Stop your arguing in the comments, guys. Um, you can mention quite a few of the legends, but you forgot to forget me- mention Sunes, says uh, Bart. We wouldn't forget Sunes, he's a great player. And Anthony, all the way from Bristol, Anthony Herbert, is giving love to another Bristolian. Uh, big up. This is a Bristol ting, man. Yes, Anthony Herbert, all the way from Bristol. So let's get on with the show. Before we do, I just want to shout out a very special... Because uh, at the end of the show, uh, there's, there's going to be a prize. No doubt about it. And Tony Lee has been uh, brilliant with us in organising uh, merchandise, shirts, all kinds of things for us. And I'm going to promote him right now once I get the script up. Uh, big up to Tony Lee. First of all, I want to big up to Fair Chance Recruitment. And uh, Fair Chance Recruitment there is dedicated to providing equal opportunities for candidates, regardless of their background, ensuring a diverse and inclusive workforce. So that's Fair Chance Recruitment, big up to them. Uh, check, write that down, guys. Let's big up our, our uh, backers, our sponsors. And also, if you like shirts, I get, oh, I got my son a shirt with his name on it. Uh, Mr. B's got shirts and uh, Rebel's got shirts from Tony as well. Check out We Love Sports, TikTok and Instagram as well. Uh, we Love Sports, where you check them out, where We Love Sports for football apparel, uh, including Premier League and top European teams across Europe, including retro kits as well. Wow. They sell NBA, NFL, and tops of all the range of trainers as well. Uh, Air Max, if you like Air Max, Adidas and Jordans, to mention a few. The Instagram and TikTok is where you can find them. So that's TikTok and Instagram. We love sports apparel. Go and check that out. If you want some merchandise, make sure you mention the Man United agenda. And you never know, you might get a little discount. Um, if you were buying a shirt uh, today, Simon, what, whose name would you have at the back of it? What current Liverpool current. player or international? Current, current in uh, Liverpool player. Suarez. Suarez. Oh wow! Well, current. Do you say current or oh, yeah. old? Oh, yeah. yeah old Sorry, same. Salah. Salah. Oh, true, true. Suarez is amazing. Oh, old would have been Suarez. Uh, international now would probably be be Mbappe. I would say. Okay. Just let's talk about the game. I know it's on. Uh, it's. Dead. <laughs> I have to talk about it on Sunday. What, what do you think about that game? I think that was an epic game of football. I think finally we matched you with intensity, and that's what you have to do against Liverpool. But um, what are your thoughts on it? Do you feel it's a bit unjust, or are you, are you okay with um, it? Yeah, I'm okay with it. I, to, to be honest, I didn't even watch it. Um, okay. I'll probably watch the first 10, 15 minutes. Yeah. And that was about it. I had to go out. So, yeah, uh, from what I heard, we were sloppy. We let you into the game too much. We were mucking around with the ball, doing kick-ups in the corner, pissing around five on twos, threes on twos. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, yeah, I think we let you off the hook a little bit. Just um, no, like, I, I reckon we, we thought it was going to be too easy for whatever yeah. reason. I don't know why we get that in our heads as mm. as a team. We just start acting like we're... Well, you know, five nil and seven nil could be a, a reason for that. <laughs> yeah, but there's there's a time and a place to do that, and you do that when you're five nil up. You don't start pissing around when it's like the game's in the balance. Yeah, for sure. So, sure. Uh, big up Andrew Williams. He wants to know the guy from Fair <coughs> Chance. Does he have an email address? Uh, I'll just bring it up again. Uh, Fair Chance 
recruitment. If you type in Google, you should be able to find them. If not, Andrew, I will message you after the show and give you an email address for the um, our backers. A spare chance of recruitment, guys. Diversity. All right, we're going to get on with the show, guys. As you know, before we get on with this, um, I want everyone who's watching right now, we're going to read out the oath together. We want Simon to do well, no doubt about it. And I think he will do really well today. Great knowledge uh, from Simon. But here's the oath. All together now, I swear not to type in the answers to help Simon out on the quiz show. I swear not to type in the answers to help Simon out on the quiz show. Please, guys. Let's just take it easy. If you know the answer, don't write it in just yet. Give Simon a chance to answer it. And then after the round, you can put your answer in and I will read them out. Okay, so no clever clogs in the comments, please. Um, Simon, this is all about 18 questions. Are you ready to take on the quiz master? I am. Yep. Okay, let's do this. What would you like to start with, Simon? So we've got three rounds. We've got a yep. pitch round. We've got the football general knowledge. And we've got six questions on Liverpool Football Club. Which one would you like to start with? Mm, go general knowledge first. We're going football general knowledge. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, like I say, I'm going to take your first answer. I'm going to give you a, a mind timer. I'm going to, you know, what's reasonable to myself. I'm counting you down. So just take your time. If you want a good glass of water, wipe your brow. We're about to play on the spot. <laughs> right. I'm going to start with question right one on football general knowledge. Remember, guys, do not type in. Here we go. Get my pen. This is tense. I'm, I'm, I'm worried. You got me worried, Simon. First time ever. All right, let's do this. Question one, football general knowledge. Mbappe is currently one of the world's best players and predicted to one day win the Ballon d'Or. Can you name three of the four French players who have previously won this award? Three. Yep. Yep. So, can you name three of the former French players? So, it's three of the French players who have previously won the Ballon d'Or. There's four yeah. of them. Name three. And how long, how long has the Ballon d'Or been going for? Since, I think, 58. Or... Okay. So, yeah. I would go um, Zidane, Platini, and uh, is it Flor, Flor, Florente? Florent? Okay. Question... Two, Bournemouth currently play their home games at which stadium? Bournemouth. Yep. Uh... Can I come back to that one? Uh, I will. I will come back. Yeah, we will come back to that. But you have to be quick for next time. Question three. Pep Guardiola, he took over yep. from Man City job from which manager in July 2016? Um, man, no, it wouldn't be. It would have been um, 2016. Pellegrini. Question four. Who is the oldest World Cup winning captain? World Cup winning captain. Um, got two on my head. Uh, One would do. <laughs> Uh, I'll give you a clue. It's 1982. Yeah. Dino's off. Earlier. Okay. Uh, we go back to question two. Bournemouth mm -hmm. played at home games at which stadium? For some reason, I want to say St. Mary's, and I know it's not St. Mary's because I'm so Um I'm going to have to... You've already had time in this one. Uh, yeah, I'll pass on this one. That's cool. Okay. Stop right there. Uh, no, we've got two more questions. Two more. That's okay. Four. But it's, gonna okay. Be a, it's a picture round, so watch very carefully. I know you've gone on your phone. Question five. Can you name the player that's played with, with all of these four players? You've got Damien Duff, Casillas, 
Dorf, uh, Elk, Hedge, Dorf, Dorf, sorry, and Berbatov. Which players played with all of these players? I'm going to give you a bit of time in this. I'm going to count 30 seconds in my head. But who's which players played with each one of these players? This is a tough one. Um, I'll give you a clue. It's kind of close to home for the team you support. Former Liverpool player. Former Liverpool player, painted Damien Duff. Um, um, we'd serve better. Can we not put the answers in, please? I've deleted your comment. I can't even see them, but yeah. Um, do you want to answer, or can I pass and come back to it? Uh, well, I'm not going to allow you to pass because we've just run out of time. Okay. Um, okay, so Damien Duff, Ica Casillas, ex Liverpool player. All right. I need an Robbie Keane is the only person I can think of, or Torres, right. but yeah, I think it's none of those. Um, We're going to go to question six, final question yeah. on football general knowledge. Same as this one. Mm -hmm. Can you name the player that's played with all four of these guys? That's Matt Sorry. Phillips, if you don't know, bottom right. You've got Robbie Keane, Rude Van Nistroy, and Frank Lampard. Take your time. I'm going to give you 30 seconds. Ivanovic, the only person I can think of. Okay, is that your answer? Yep. Uh, I've taken your first answer. Yeah. Okay, um, let's stop it right there. Let's, let's go back. Let's start with this one, guys. Thanks, guys, in the comments. We can read out the answers now. Um, I'm going to go back to this one. We deserve better. I ask you not to read out the comments. Uh, read, well, not read out the comments, but give the answers. It's Michael Owen. For this one, uh, can you? Oh, yeah, Real Madrid, yeah, Real Madrid, Liverpool, yeah, Man United, and Newcastle. Newcastle, yeah, yeah, that's um, what was stumping me. Next one, we had uh, can you name the players played with these four? Anyone know this in the comments? Someone close to home for Man United, that's for sure. Can't think. Possibly the best centre back in the Premier League. What Vidic? It's Rio Ferdinand. Leeds United, May United, QPR, and with Frank Lampard at West Ham. Uh, let's let's go back to the, the first question. So, first question we asked you: um, Ballon d'Or winners, French free French French Ballon d'Or winners of the past. Um, you said. Sudan, Platini, it was Claire Fontaine, I was trying to say. Yeah, it was actually Papan uh, or Kappa, uh, you could have said. So, unfortunately, you got that wrong. Uh, okay. Question two, Bournemouth played their home games at which stadium? You passed on that, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's the Vitality Stadium. That's it, yeah. It's a killer, isn't it? I, when I was going for the questions, I thought, I don't think anyone knows that. You know, it's, it's because it's a bloody healthcare fucking <laughs> insurance company, isn't it? Like, yeah. who, who does that? <laughs> There we go. Uh, Andrew, you got that right here. Uh, is Vitali Stadium, yep. Yeah. Um, Pep took over the job at Man City from which manager in 2016? You said? Pellegrini, I think. Correct, correct. And um, who is the oldest World Cup winning captain? You said? I think I said Zoff, didn't I? Yeah, correct. 1982. It's funny because we were talking about 1982 earlier, being yeah. the first memory of the World Cup. That's right. Yep. So you've got two out of six on football general knowledge. Don't worry about it. You've still got a possible 12 to get, which will give you the lead if you get all right, all of them all right. Remember, we've got a pitch around to go and we've got a Liverpool questions, which is you want to be your favourite, I believe, I believe, judging by these questions. All right, guys. Um, thank you. Please, I'm going back to 
where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Um, who put out the answer? I can't remember who it was now. All right. Do not, whatever you do, guys, just be patient. Do not give out the answers. Um, do you want to get a glass of water, wipe your brow, Simon, as we go through round two? No, I'm good. Let's go. Let's go. So what do you think what's it going to be? Liverpool or photo around? Uh, do photos. Photos, okay. Let's get this ready. All right, guys, it's the photo round. Please do not, do not, whatever you do, guys, in the comments, do not give the answers. This is the photo round. Um, I know I have to forgive you, Simon, because you're doing it from your phone and it's a bit hard for you to see. So if you've got any problem, if you want to need a bit more time, just give me a shout and if you can't see correctly. But we're doing the photo round now. I'm going to flash up a photo. I want your first answer. Who's it going to be? And the guys in the comments, do not read, like, give us the answer at all. Just be patient and hold your corner. First one coming up. Are you ready, Simon? Yeah, go. The photo round. Let's go. Who's that? Jesus, I can't even see that. Uh... Do you know who he's playing for? Sheffield United. Sorry, Wednesday. Um... England International. Andy Sinton. Uh, next Jenny... one. Who is that? No, QPR. Um... <sighs> Pass. Pass. I know the player. I can't think of the name. Okay. Uh, who is this legend? Oh, looks like Tiago's dad. Name? Alcantara. Yeah, that's Tiago's name, but what's his name? Um, what do they call him? I can't remember his nickname. Uh, All right, I'll give you some. I'm going to go move on. We'll come back to that. I'll give you one mm -hmm. last one. Uh, Current footballer playing in the Premier League. Who's this? Uh, Do you know the club? Yeah, it's Luton. He's a winger. Pretty good. Um, Most crosses in the Premier League, apparently. Nope. Don't know his name. Okay, nope. uh, moving on. We've got a couple more to go now. Let's just get the next one up. Who is this legend? Mm. Ex Real Madrid coach. Possibly. Is it, is it him? I can't see it so fucking small, man. <laughs> it's yeah, tiny. We uh, Stuart, in the comments, do not put the give the answers out, please. He's playing for like Atletico, isn't he, or Bilbao, one of them in Spain. Yeah. I'm pretty uh, sure Stuart, he's the. Do not give the answer out if you don't mind. Is it Rudy? Rudy something? Rudy? What's his name? Rudy Michael Steam or something? No, no, it's someone else. I can't think. I know he's a Real Madrid manager anyway because I remember him. I'm going to move Taking on. Taking over after Capello, I think. Moving on. Who is this? Uh, Bolton. Yep. Sorry, not you, Stuart. It's another Stuart who gave the answer out. Was it yeah, I can't even see, man. It's, it's pretty small. Okay. So, I can't, yeah, I can't I can't really tell. All right, we're going like to go back. Uh, up. We're going to go back. Unfortunately, yeah, because you're on a mobile phone, it's tough for you to see. Um, go back to this one. You, I can see that's 
that's Thiago's dad, but I can't remember his surname. Uh, no, um, I'm going to give you that regardless because uh, you are right. It's Thiago's dad, Mauro Silva. All right, Mara, that's, that's it. End, end of the, the round. Big up to Darren Tubbs in the comments as well. Do not give out the answers. There's a wise guy in there. It wasn't you, Stuart. It's another Stuart. Let's go through this now. You you said? Um, probably completely wrong, but I said Andy Sinton. Correct, correct. You were right, Andy Sinton. Uh, playing for Sheffield Wednesday. I was going to give one of him playing. Yeah, he played for QPR as well, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. But Scored the first Monday night football goal. Did he? Yeah. Oh, my God. Shame there that question didn't come up. Um, it, Andy Sinton says Andrew Williams as well. So, yeah, you got that right. Uh, next one was another QPR ledge. Darren, I want to say Darren Sutton. That's what was my first Darren something, but I can't think. Anyone in the comments know who this is? QPR winger in the Perkins. Premier? Perkins or something like that, Darren Perkins. First name, Andrew. Andrew, that's it. Andrew, anyone in the comments? First name, Andrew. Yes, Andy Herbert got it. MP, Andrew MP, that's it. MP. Uh, Legend in West London. Next yeah. one, Mauro Silva. Um, mm -hmm. World Cup winner, wasn't he? Yeah, 94. Do you think that's the best father and son combination in football? Um, probably, along with the... No, probably the Maldinis, really. There's oh, yeah. three generations. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Um, Mazzino, it wasn't him, but uh, Di Portivo, they won the Liga uh, with Mara Silva at one point, didn't they? They had a really talented yeah. side um, yeah. with some top strikers and Rivaldo. Okay, you got got that one right. I gave you a point for that. Uh, next one, who is his current Premier League footballer? Yeah, Anyone know, know this? I know he's all right. but You were right. You know everything about him, that he's a, a wide guy, but most crosses in the league. It's Doughty from... Uh, from Luton Town, Doughty. Mm -hmm. um, next one was this guy. Uh, you're almost there. Yes, Andrew Williams. It was Doughty. Um, anyone in the comments know who this is? Lovely Tash says we deserve better, most certainly. Yes, V. It was Bert Schuster. Bert Schuster, that's it. Yes, and Andrew Williams got it as well. Well done, guys. And finally, we've got this uh, Premier League talented Baller, uh, playing for Bolton. Who else did he for? Um, Aston Villa. Whedon. It's no one knows. Sasha Sir Sirchik. Sasha Kerchik, or his name is. Yeah, there you Kerchik, go. Kerchik, Sir Kerchik, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do you remember okay. him? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He, didn't he, play, he, he came after the Coca Cola. Cup, didn't he? I think. Yeah, that's right. So you got two out of six there. So you're currently on four points. You could get possibly ten points or an equal third if you get six out of six on a Liverpool round. So are you ready uh, to go with the Liverpool questions? And before I do, yeah, Andrew Williams. Yeah, that's it. Sasha, Sir Tits with it. Take away the eyes, put a U in there. And uh, yeah, very funny. Okay, this is a Liverpool round. The round that you've been mm. waiting for. Your top Liverpool fan. No doubt you get this. Um, you need to get all right to come third. Anything beyond that, you're going to come fourth in the leaderboard. We will get the leaderboard up in a bit. But guys, in the comments, Stu MC, do not read, not type in the answers. I'm making, we made the oath at the start of the show. No one's typing the answers, please, guys. Let's give um, a chance to our Liverpool fan because he deserves it. He deserves it, especially after they got knocked out of the FA Cup the other day. So anyway, let's go. Liverpool round. Are you ready, Simon? For this six yes. question on Liverpool Football Club. I'm taking your first answer. Okay. Shh, your comments, silence. Let's go. Question one. Alexis McAllister started his pro career with which club? It's multiple choice. Is it Argentina Juniors, Boca or Vélez? Boca. Question two. Liverpool currently have three Dutch players in the squad. But can you name five Dutch players that played for Liverpool prior to this? You've currently got three in the squad. Can you give me another five that have played for Liverpool at, at any time? Yep. Zenden. Kout. Um, uh, 
Take your time. So the question is, five Dutch players that have played for Liverpool, um, not including the three that are playing now, Van Dijk mm -hmm. um, and the other two. You said uh, Dirk Zenden. Yeah. So I'm just going through all the teams though in my head. Um, I'll tell you what, I'll give you a point if you just name one more, because it's pretty hard. And I'm going to give you 20 seconds to so name one more. You've got Kai Zenden. I just need one more Dutch player that's played for Liverpool over the years. Dutch, 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 Dutch. Champions League winner recently. Or reached the final for sure. But Liverpool. Yep. Uh let's see when I reach the final. Won a treble with Liverpool in two thousand and one. Okay, one more Dutch player that's played with Liverpool. Go have to speed you up, Simon. So I'm just going to go through the whole team now in my head. So, Stu MC, mind your business, yeah. Andrew Williams knows one. It's all right, there, Andrew, uh, when you're not in the hot seat. Can we come back to that? Yeah, we'll come back to that very quickly. Mark Lorison formed a great partnership with Alan Hansen. Yep. From which club was he signed from in 1981? Uh, uh, Preston. Okay, question four. Which player won an FA Cup with his medal with Liverpool versus Everton in 1989 and then with Everton versus United in 1995. So this player has played for both Liverpool and Everton. He won an uh, FA Cup winner's medal against Everton, playing for Liverpool in 1989. And then he went on to win an FA Cup against Man United, playing for Everton in 1995. Uh, speedy. Question five. Liverpool won a famous treble in 2001. Who were their opponents in the League Cup, FA Cup, and UEFA Cup finals? Say again, please. The Liverpool won the famous treble in 2001. But who was yep. their opponents in the League Cup final, FA Cup final, and UEFA Cup final that year? Alaves, Arsenal, Birmingham. Question six. Which former Liverpool player has managed Real Madrid twice and Real Sociedad Three times, but never managed. John Toshak. John Toshak. Okay. okay, we're going back to the question. Dutch players that have played for Liverpool. You said Dirk Kite and Zenden. I need one more. Yeah. <laughs> oh, why is it so hard? Uh, played in the 2001. You sure he played in the 2001? One of them played in, in the 2001 treble. Right. Uh, one of them uh, definitely played in Champions League final recently with with, with Liverpool. One of them was signed by uh, Benitez. Wow. Why can't I think? But the only other person... Okay, sorry. I don't know why I've had a blank because I fucking watched it in fucking Holland that year. Ryan Babble. I okay, watched the under twenty one. Right there. Well done. Well done. So that's hold on one. Ryan Bubble, yeah. So and... let's go through this. Let's go through this. So first of all, question one, we asked you, Alexis McAllister started his pro career with which club? Was it Argentina Juniors, Boca, or Velez? You said Boca. It's actually so... Argentina Juniors, same club as Maradona. Um, okay. question two. 
Liverpool currently have three Dutch players in the squad. Can you name five former Dutch players that played for Liverpool? You said, I asked Four. for three. Sorry. Three, yeah. So you said Zenden, Kai, Kai yeah. and Babel. Any mm. more? Then, uh, yep, yeah, we've got a couple here in the comments. Genie, yep. Yeah. And we've got Vestervelt, the goalkeeper. Yep. Yeah. Um, and we've got uh, Eric Meyer, Zepp de Berg, Van de Berg, and uh, Kromkamp. Do you remember him, Kromkamp? Fullback. Oh yeah, Jan Kronkamp, yeah. Yeah. Set Van der Berg, but he he's a current Liverpool player. Oh, is he still playing Van der Berg? He's yeah, yeah. Stoke. He's on loan. He's a, he's a, I think he's signed for Stoke now. Oh really? Okay. Yeah, he's signed for Stoke, so he's on loan in one of the championship clubs, I believe. Someone yeah. check that for me, Van der Berg. Um, he's uh, he's signed for. I'm sure he's. I've checked it out earlier. He's signed for Stoke, I believe. Uh, yeah, Dirk Kite, uh, Ryan Babel, guys. Um, and also Van der Berg is also Dutch. Yes, thank you for that. Um, Velez, unfortunately, wasn't it was Argentina Juniors. Mark Lorison formed a great partnership with Alan Hansen. From which club did he was he signed from in 1981? You said Preston. It's actually Brighton, Brighton and Hove Albion. Oh, is um, that yeah? We asked you which player, this is a tough one, which player won an FA Cup with his medal with Liverpool versus Everton in 1989. And then with Everton versus United in 1995. So two FA Cup with two different teams, both Scouse teams. So he's played for both Scouse teams, Everton and Liverpool. Which player is that? We've got an answer in the comment. We've got it right. Sheedy, isn't it? You said Sheedy. Unfortunately, it's not Sheedy. It was. Where's the answer? Here we go. Andrew Williams. Ablett. Yeah, Gary Ablett. Yeah. Yeah. I always thought he yeah. looked like Alan Hansen a bit. He had that same kind of. Yeah, and the same playing style. Yeah, and um, what I mean, when I saw Audridge and Ian Rush with that moustache as well, I said, what's going on here? Is this, is this <laughs> a thing? What is it with scouts and moustaches? I don't know. Anyway, so question five. We asked you, Liverpool won a famous treble in 2001. Who were their yeah. opponents in the League Cup final, FA Cup final, and the UEFA Cup final? You said... Birmingham, Arsenal, Alaves. Yeah. Which of those finals was best for you um they're all different to be honest um the league cup was just good to get a cup under the belt yeah. for the manager arsenal was just probably our worst game of the season we, we play, literally played like stoke the whole game and then Michael Owen just, you know, pretty much goal hanged the whole game and then got two goals at the end. Yeah. Um, and then you got Alaves, which was us probably about a month later or a few weeks later realizing what we could actually do as a club. Yeah. In terms of, you know, the stage in Europe and then it having to, you know, we scored early and then it goes all the way to them scoring and it being back and forth and it going to, you know, well, golden, golden goal, wasn't it? Yeah. Went to extra time and golden goal. Just a so, quick question. I've always wanted to ask you this, Simon. So, Bath Titanium, yeah. both left foot goals from Owen as well. I mean, Owen won a Ballon d'Or at his age. He was outstanding. But you could say the same about Fowler. And then you mentioned Suarez. So, in Premiership, yeah. in the Premier League era, with Torres, Suarez, Fowler, Owen, on their day, their best day, which front two would you go with? Um... In, in, like, if you break it down, like, who's the best? The best that you've seen, unstoppable. Which partnership would you go with? And it could just be your personal favourites, not necessarily the best. Um, well, if you're going to get the two most devastating, that the best is probably Suarez and Torres, really. Okay, better than in Fowler. terms. Of, I would probably say so. You're looking at a World Cup winner, European Cup winner, and scorer. True, that's that's true. quite a high level, and he was doing. The same, he wasn't playing any different, basically playing for Spain than he did for Liverpool. Yeah. When he looked at it, his goals were very similar for Liverpool as they were for Spain. Even his goal in the final was very, was what he was doing all season. Um, so, yeah. Fernando Torres was the best for me, says V. It would have been Torres and Fowler. Um, guys in the comments, I would have gone, I think Owen was unstoppable. <sighs> and I think Suarez as well. 
but I can't. It's hard for me to leave out Fowler. I think Torres had a little spell, but I, I, what yeah, think... Fowler for in terms of finishing, pure finishing, yeah, Fowler is the best out of everyone. Yeah, it's, it's, like, you've had, he's I a think, pure finisher. Yeah, you've had some magnificent uh, strikers. Sing the Torres song. I don't know it um, by half time. Do you know it, Simon? Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't think you're going to sing it. Uh, Jordy, Jordy, it. <laughs> Jordy Cruyff was mad in the match uh, for Alvarez uh, that day, says Drago. Yep. Uh, was it? Oh, and Lud Ludovic Judy as well, I'd probably say. Oh, he went for Alvarez that day? Yeah, he went on to play for Barcelona, didn't he? Oh, right. And Monica, played against... Yeah, I didn't realise he was playing. Yeah, played against Arsenal didn't he, in the um, Champions League final as well. Uh, Andy Herbert saying here, Julian Diggs mm. was good. He was from Bristol. Uh, yeah. Shout out to the Bristolians, man. Before 2010, Torres similar to Rush, unstoppable. Shame United didn't get him. And mm. uh, Dix out for Arsenal is one of the best <laughs> 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 headlines ever. Yes, from Bath. <laughs> All right, Wicked, we, we, you got seven out of 18. Not bad. Simon, I want you to come back again and compete again. Uh, how did you find the quiz? Uh, pretty good, but I need to do this on, like, I don't know, a laptop or something. Yeah. I couldn't see the screen. It's too small. Yeah, I mean, if you can, next time, this is why I'll give you a blight, because the same complaint last week, um, guy was doing it from his phone, he couldn't see, it was too small to see the images of the people. Yeah. So I reckon you could have got double figures easy there and being near the top of the leaderboard. And uh, I think it's the first time on the show, I think you should come back, no doubt about it, and uh, beat that score and get yourself climb up, climb up the table. But Simon, it's been brilliant having you on. Um, Thank any you. shout outs you want to give a shout out to anyone? Shout out to the whole of the Premier League football banter crew. Yeah, you know who you are, guys. And guys in the comments, go and, if you're on Facebook, go and subscribe to Premier League football banter. Loads of fun, um, chatting football all day, and just uh, yeah, you, I, I can't. I'm addicted. I'm addicted. It's uh, Nicky Reed. Uh, he's owns the group, top guy, and so many great characters in the group as well. Um, so shout out to everyone. We've got Arsenal fans, West Ham, Chelsea, Man United, Liverpool, and. Um, Man City as well. I think we've got a uh, Man City fan. Don't forget, guys, if you want to buy some merchandise, uh, mm -hmm. some props, check out Tony Lee's uh, We Love Sports merchandise. Everything from NFL, NBA, and obviously soccer tops as well. I'm saying soccer because I've just gone uh, Yankee talking about those sports. Uh, Instagram, check, check them out on Instagram and on TikTok. And also, big up to Fair Chance Recruitment. Um, they are a diverse organization, giving opportunities to everyone. Andrew Williams, I will try and get an email for you to set you up with that as well. So, guys, don't forget, um, if you watch Side TV, me and Mr. B will be appearing on Side TV tonight at 10.30 p.m. to represent and uh, back 10 hog. Uh, that would be tasty, a bit saucy. And um, can I, just, I was going to put up a league table, Simon, but just finish off the show. But just let me know, crop leaving. Um, would it be nice to bow out with a league title? But the only thing stopping you, it's a free horse race. And one of the first free horse races I can remember for a long time. How are you feeling, bro? Um, with everything, you've seen the fixture list, you've seen what you've got ahead of you and the injuries and everything else. Are you confident? How do you feel about this league title? And isn't it just great to see football played at this level and, and going to the end of the season with three teams going at it? Yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be close, man. Um, in terms of have we got a chance? Who knows? Who knows? It's, it's in the hands of the gods, really. Um, um, the thing that's going to help us is injuries coming back over the next two weeks. as an international break. Nice. People are coming back. Um, what also might help us is the Champions League. There's a couple of things that just need to slide in place for us. So, so the Champions League, obviously, you might potentially have Arsenal, Man City, yep. or Arsenal, Real Madrid, or you know, vice versa with the other teams. That's, so that's taxing for them, yeah, yeah, it's just physically and mentally taxing for everyone, not just them, the club fans that are going. Um, you know, uh, yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot in ter in terms of everyone's playing similar teams, so we're all playing Tottenham. We're playing United again, I think. Yeah. Or have uh, recently. Um, and Villa, I think as well. Okay. So it's, it's going to be tough. I mean, I don't. I must just say, Klopp's been one of the. It's really refreshing to see a manager like that in the league. 
in a short space has been there to be able to sort of compete with Man City. And mm -hmm. um, I think he's punching above his weight because Man City are just giants out here. They, they, they've got all the resources, best managers, yeah. best coaches, best players. And you've been up there at 90 points a couple of seasons, really yeah. pushing. Um, did Klopp go down as one of the all-time great managers? Has to. Yeah. He has to. Just, just for the amount of records that the club has broken under his tenure, um, the levels that we've got to under his tenure, um, the entertainer football that he's brought for pretty much almost a decade. Yeah. You know, that's pretty much unheard of. It's been consistent, even though, we, you know, there's been times where we've been terrible. There's still been memorable moments. Every season, there's been a memorable moment. Mm. You know, even when it's been terrible, we've had, uh, you know, like a 7 0 against United. So yeah, no, it's, 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 it's been it's been one of those, you know, when it's not been good, the the results here and there have, have, have picked the club up, and yeah, it's going to be sad that he's going. Um, but I'm actually looking forward to what's actually going to happen after he goes. I actually think there's an extra ten percent, um, as we were saying right at the beginning. Of the show, we're, we're we're probably one of the most wasteful teams in front of goal you could ever see. Yeah, we create about a thousand chances a, a game and don't put half of them away. Mm. Um, so I reckon whoever gets in charge or whoever's directing the football operations, that's probably going to be their next step, is to make us more clinical. Yeah. So I I'm hoping what what's going to happen is that we do Shanky to Paisley. <laughs> That's what I was going to ask you next. Because yeah. uh, when Man United lost Ferguson, we dropped off. When Wenger left Arsenal, they kind of dropped off. Yeah. Is there something in place to ma make sure you maintain this kind of Klopp energy and uh, infusion? Yeah. Well, we've got the um, we've already sorted out the the backroom team, haven't we? Already, so we got the you know Michael Edwards is back. Yeah, yeah. We've got the other guy from Bournemouth coming. Um, forget his name. Was it Michael Brown or something like that? Okay. Um, a new director of football. <clears throat> so things are looking up. So there's bits in place to make sure that whoever comes in, there's, there's you know, the, the same thing doesn't happen, you know, like to Moyes, basically, where he has to bring in the whole backroom team, right. everyone with him, everyone left with Ferguson, you know, yeah. that that's not going to happen. FSG is not, you know, making sure that's not happening. There's certain people in, in in important positions that aren't leaving. They're part of FSG, not Liverpool. So that's the slight difference, really, that FSG are ruled, you know, have got the rule over these individuals, not the club. Yeah. And whilst FSG are there, they'll be there. So, so that sounds good. promising, at least. At least uh, you, you can maintain a level that, that you have for over the last few years. Uh, V's saying here, mm -hmm. Klopp has done well, but he can't be over Wenger, uh, only with only one title. Different era, I um, I'm different era, man. On how many times he says literally, <coughs> Andrew Williams, uh, that's for you, um, Simon. Bath time saying, Great to see you on Monday isn't pre reading comments again. Um, sorry, <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. Uh, Cloppage time is coming to an end, says Stephanie Griffiths. This is a main night channel, obviously. We're going to be mocking a little bit. Um, B saying here, Darwin Nunez is good, but lacks composure in front of goal because you were staying there, you're not uh, finishing your dinner a lot of the time. And uh, yeah. just heard news today, Gareth Southgate could be the new Liverpool manager. <laughs> there, In we heard coming to us, so hopefully you can have him. You can have him if you want. Um, <laughs> I don't know. All right, that's enough from us. Like I said, thanks to our um, backers, our sponsors, We Love Sports, Fair Chance Recruitment, and big up to Simon. Um, we will see you on Premier League Football Banter on Facebook, but you will be back, no doubt about it, to sort of better your score and uh, come with a, a laptop next time so we can actually... Yeah, man. Get uh, see see the photos as well but from now everyone in the comments thanks for coming and sharing and big up to simon liberal fan but it's all love as you know on the agenda we're not about that big up simon uh we'll see you yes, guys man. tomorrow at 9 p.m and don't forget to check us out on side tv myself and mr b tonight at 10 30 good night